came up with the name The Oar because up north, we used to have a lot of lakes that were no motor zones, so we would paddle canoes or rowboats, and up on the Cape Cod, where we go in the summers, we would get to use the rowboats for people that would go to their boats on the moorings, and so we would row a lot. I have um, an old town canoe above the door when you enter, which was my parents. It's like a feature when people come into the restaurant and they see it. first time that I ate at Chef Lawrence's restaurant, The Ore, um, I went with my family and I remember telling them that the pairings that he used in the dish were actually uh, quite creative and I would have not thought to put them together myself. And it was a very flavorful experience and the presentation was uh, very beautiful because of the colors and the way that he arranged his plates. And I love the fact that he used um, seasonal foods that were local and everything was just very fresh. Um, and that speaks to how he constantly is rotating his menu and keeping his creativity forefront. The way I got to Vero Beach was uh, through an internship for the CIA at John's Island Club. Most of my inspiration came from a chef in Connecticut that I first started with. He was from Northern Italy, and I really like the fresh ingredients, um, and there's plenty of them down here, and easily sourced. There's a lot of local farms, local fish. I come up with a process of creating dishes with flavors that match. Things that go well together. We cook almost every dish to order. We just buy the product and we create with it instead of buying product that's already made. Um, most of the time, I, I'm pretty able to do that, especially buying small quantities with the small farmers who don't produce enough to supply large chain restaurants and things like that. I can source a great deal of stuff to use here, and it's beautiful, and they do a great job. I really like Vero, it's a nice town, it's very comfortable, it's beautiful, it's just a great place to be. And a nice small restaurant I felt would be perfect in Vero. I hope you enjoyed this culinary arts series and our insider guide to Vero. If you're a piqued your interest, I'd love to connect.